OCU basketball coach Abe Lemons is with us this morning. How are you, Abe? Just lovely. <laughs> Good morning to you. Good to see you. Good to see you. You're looking great. Well, you guys, for a couple of stags getting up this time of, <laughs> in the morning and running your traps at night, <laughs> it's amazing how well you yeah. look. Yeah. Uh, a lot of times we, uh, we troll early in the morning, too, you know. <laughs> it's just amazing. I keep thinking you ought to look older for some reason, you know, the life you lead. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. Abe. Well, we're pretty move. good shape for the shape we're in, you know. Well, you know, getting out on the street, it's early in the morning, no one's there, it's scary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's, that's true. You know, you guys get up at early and then you go to bed late. Do you ever <laughs> see anyone on the streets while you're out there? Oh, every now and then you run into a few folks. Every now and then. Abe, you're going to be honored this evening at uh, the Marriott. They're going to have a, a roast for Abe Lemons, and we've got some dignitaries coming in. Uh, one of the big names, uh, Jim uh, Valvano, is going to be in town. Oh, he's really a great guy. I used to know him when he ran the Poconos. He was quite known as the gym rat. Called him uh, Columbo. He had an old dirty trench coat wandering around up the Poconos. And he was always enthusiastic, and he, he's got the game in the right perspective. You know, the game's a game, and that's all there is to it. And he's uh, been made the athletic director at North Carolina State. Mm -hmm. One of the funniest guys I've ever been around. Just absolutely uh, hilarious. Norm Russell uh, played for you. He's an attorney here in town, and uh, I understand that uh, when uh, you were coaching Norm, you guys didn't get along all that all that well. Well, I'm the coach. I'm not supposed to get along with people. Players <laughs> supposed to get along with you. And, uh, <laughs> I, you know, I've had differences with a lot of mm -hmm. players, and once they get out in life and find out that they try to do the same thing that I did, they change their attitude a great deal. And of course, I've changed my attitude over the years too. That uh, you have to take people as they are and get what you can out of them and go on down the road. Well, mm -hmm. you've uh, you've been in coaching 20 years now, I guess, right? Yeah, but I've been at it since 1950. 20 years at OCU. OCU, oh, yeah. Oh, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, you 21, won. I believe. <laughs> is, uh, how many games have you won in your coaching? 519 and haven't lost any. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. Teams lost a lot. Yeah, don't you, don't, you don't lose. You know, right? I don't count losses. <laughs> you know, you, you, you're you really into into the news, it always seems like. What are your comments on the state treasurer uh, filing bankruptcy? <laughs> well, it just kind of strikes you funny. The guy's <laughs> handling the money filed for bankruptcy. It's, it just strikes you funny. You know, I know it's not funny to him, but I wonder <laughs> why he didn't do something with the state's money or uh, or you wonder how you handle that. I guess he did all right. I guess he's a nice, honorable guy. And uh, Everybody has a tendency to blame things on the economy. Mm -hmm. I know I do all the time. Yes. Even when we get beat, I say it's the economy. <laughs> 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 but it just, it just rings funny for a guy to be in charge of state treasury and go take bankruptcy. It just, <laughs> you know, I guess it's part of the humor. We'll see him on Johnny Carson here pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> the roast and the banquet. So. Now, this, like, uh, the, this roast for Abe will be held at the Marriott this evening at 7 o'clock, and if you'd like tickets, you can uh, uh, call OCU. And you see this money is going to go to buy uh, Gerald Walker some new suits and maybe some new shoes. Well, you know how it goes. We have to keep dressing everybody up out yeah. there and doing some things. But it money does go to school, and you can pick your ticket up at the Marriott, I'm sure. It, when you're dealing with private institution, they just move another chair in, you know, they never never sold out, it's like church. You ever been to a church you couldn't get into, they just make room for you. Sure. You notice how the seats are slanted where the money falls out of the pocket in the little tray in the back. They, they got a lot of little tricks, so uh, at our school we're never sold out, no matter how many's there. Hey, how do you feel about the Dome Stadium? Oh, I kind of wish it'd be bigger, I think we're in between. I remember when Gallagher Hall was built and the word was that Harry Dahman was standing there talking to Henry Ibis saying, I wonder if we'll ever fill it. And I think it, I'd like to see it a little bigger, but uh, I, I like a lot of things I don't get. I think it's an in-betweener. You ask me my opinion. <laughs> yeah. you know, it's, uh, I'm not a heck of a lot better off than Leo Winters, or, you know, as far as my judgment goes. Do you get down to Walters often? Well, try to. They got a sign up outside town now. I never got my name on the water tower, but they did put a sign up as my hometown with 500 wins. Marvin Moore did that without anyone's knowledge, I think. <laughs> oh, so you got your you got a sign down yeah, there? Yeah. Well, well it's on uh, it's on wooden post. Yeah. You know, not too deep yeah. in the ground where you uh -huh. can 
run just out. Just yank it up. Yeah, you, know, you could take to. that thing up if things uh -huh. get bad and just blot it out. Well, we've got something in common. We have a sign also outside Bovina that says McCain Brothers don't ever come back. <laughs> yeah. Well, you'd almost miss. But it's up there permanently, though. <laughs> yeah. you know? It'd be you easy. You can't get out of the ground very easy. It'd be easy to miss we tried. Bovina. Yeah. You know. You've been through there before. Well, going to Clovis. Some say I did, some say <laughs> yeah. I didn't. You know, it, you have to kind of look real quick. Yeah, yeah. it's been a week there one night. Yeah. Well, uh, we just uh, hope that there's a great turnout tonight and. Uh, Looks like uh, you've got a, certainly an entertaining uh, bunch of guys. Well, Frank speak. Boggs is going to be the MC. Yeah, and Paul Hansen will be there. And uh, congratulations on uh, your great success at uh, OCU. Well, it was more fun this year than it was last year. Winning is just so much more fun than losing. You know, it's just painful to be losing all the time. So we look like we're back on the right track, regardless of what level. All right, OCU basketball coach Abe Lemons. We'll be back right after this commercial break. Don't go away.